Welcome to Naresai Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In the last video, I did talk about how to assign the value to variable. In that video, I explain about five ways. The first one is assign the value to variable with the help of value directly. And second one is assigning the value to variable with the help of another variable. And third one is assigning the value to variable with the help of method return type and fourth one is assigning the value to variable with the help of expression and fifth one is assigning a value or passing a value as a parameter to a method. So, like this we have totally five ways. C the second way is assigning the value to a variable with the help of a another variable. This syntax technically we can call as casting. This syntax technically we can call as casting. See casting means converting from one data type variable value to another data type variable value we can call as what casting. For example, I have one value like uh, byte, byte b equal to 100, byte b equal to 100. This byte value I am placed into where one more variable that is what uh, int a equal to b. First I am assigning value to variable b, later b value I am placed into variable a. So, here I am using two statements one is directly I am assigning the value to variable and the one is with the help of another variable we are assigning value to variable a. Now, here casting means converting from one data type variable value to another data type variable value is called casting and before talking about uh, types of casting and the functionality of casting. First, let me highlighting what are the internal flow? What is the internal flow in this statement done by the both compiler and JVM? First, let me highlight the statement one more time byte b equal to 100. So, whenever we writing like this internally lot of uh, things will be happen. So, let me explain one by one individually. So, whenever we writing like byte b equal 100 in our source code and after writing that uh, source code in our program, if you are giving to that source code to the compiler, compiler is trying to evaluate this statement. How? First, this part we can call as destination place and uh, this one we can call as a uh, source place. The variable which is available in the destination place is called destination variable. Now, whenever we assign a value like 100 into the variable b, first what are the functionalities are done by the compiler? First, compiler is going to be check the destination variable type what is the destination variable type here byte after that it is going to be check it is means compiler is going to be check the range of the data type so what is the range of the data type compiler is going to be check range ranges of data type here data type is what byte let me explain how to calculate range of the byte. Now, observe here, if you take a data type like a byte b equal to 10, how to calculate range of the byte? See, if you want to represent any data in the machine level, we required two electronic pulses like a on or off and off. Now, here on and off we can represent with uh, 
two digits like a 0 and a 1, totally two digits. In Java, byte is going to be provided 8 bits of memory. So, bit is nothing but a, a small memory location to hold electronic pulse. Bit means a small memory location to hold electronic pulse. So, either 0 or 1 it is going to be hold by the one bit. That bit technically we can call as memory location. Now, how many bits of memory is given by the byte? 8 bits nothing but 1 byte. So, combinations are what? 2 power of 8. 2 power of 8 is nothing but 256. That means, byte data type is going to be hold how many values here? 256 values. Whenever we talking about the value, maybe we need to consider about positive as well as what? Negative. So, we have two parts, one is the negative part, another one is positive part. So, let me take two parts like uh, by 2 here negative as well as what here positive. That means, one part contains how many digits here? 128 digits. Now, observe here that means, totally we have minus 128 digits as well as uh, plus 128 digits. Now, minus 128 digit 2, 0 also we, we should be consider as one value. So, 0 to 127. So, 0 plus 127 totally how much? 128. Do not be calculate 0 as an mathematic value, 0 as an plus 127. Do not be uh, calculate as an 127. Here, 0 as an what? 1 digit plus 127 digits. Totally 128 digits. Now, observe. So, 128 is nothing but uh, minus 2 power of 7. 2, 0, 2 plus 2 power of 7. 2 power of 7 is nothing but 128, but here what we have? Minus 1, nothing but 127. So, totally, totally how many, how many memory locations given by the byte? 8 bits. So, minus total memory location minus 1, 2, 0, 2, 2 power total memory location minus 1, base minus 1. This is the range of what? Byte. So, first we need to take what here? 8 bits. How many? Oh, if you want to represent any value in the machine level, we require 2 bits, uh, either 0 or 1. So, total combinations are 256 by 2, nothing but what? 128. So, totally we have two types of numbers either positive and negative. So, we have negative 128 digits, positive 128 digits. That means, in the positive we have 0 value also. Now, how can we calculate the range minus 128 to 0 to 127. So, minus 127 is nothing but 27 to 0 to 27 minus 1. So, if you are calculating range based on the number of bits, we can say like this minus 2 power of 8 minus 1 2 0 2 plus 2 power of 8 minus 1 base minus 1. This is the range of the byte. Now, come to this topic. So, first destination compiler is going to be check what destination variable, later it is going to be check what range of the data type. So, what is the range of byte data type minus 2 power nothing but 128 to 0 to 127 minus 128 to 0 to 127. This is the range of the byte already we discussed here. Now, observe the third one is first, first compiler concentrate on what left side base, later compiler concentrate on what right side nothing but first compiler concentrate on destination side, later compiler concentrate on source side. Now, guys observe here, after successfully completion of the verification at destination side, control goes to where source side. So, that means, uh, compiler is going to be check source value, compiler is going to check source value, here what is the source value? 100. After checking the source value, Compiler is going to check whether the source value is within the range of 
destination variable whether the source value is within the range of destination variable so fifth step is or fourth step is value is within the range or not now what is the value here and write what is the range minus 128 to 0 to 127 that means check 128 to 0 to 100 to 127 see final statement if the value is see between uh, the value is what 100 this 100 between is available where you are minus 128 to 127 that means 100 is within the range of the destination variable type once uh, the value is within the range compiler successfully converting into what uh, ready to compiler ready to converting from source code to byte code if the value is in the fifth step in the fifth step if the value is not within the range value is not within the range we will get what one compile time error we will get what compile time error so these five steps are going to be done by the compiler at compilation time let me give you a quick review on top of this one whenever we assign value to variable directly compiler is going to be do these five process first it is going to be check destination variable type here destination variable type is what byte after checking the destination variable type it is going to be check ranges so how to calculate the ranges already i described here like this we can calculate the range of the byte so what is the byte range minus 2 power of 8 minus 1 to 0 to 2 power of 8 minus 1 minus 1 now come to this side now after checking the ranges by the compiler it is going to be concentrate on source value what is the source value here 100 if the value is within the range now this statement is what uh, this statement is what uh, valid the value is out of the range then we will get what uh, compile time error so like this compiler is going to be doing the process in this uh, statement in the next video we are going to be talk about how uh, how means here what are the internal steps done by the compiler in this statement after completion of this discussion i am going to be highlight the topic like what uh, casting i hope you enjoyed this video we will uh, meet in the next video thank you